Alright and welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna be learning how to make a settings UI just like this. Oh my god! So firstly, uh, go get this this UI in the description. Uh, I, I already made it. There's no scripts involved, like uh, no modules. Look, I'll search here for you. Local script, no modules, nothing like that. So make sure you go get this UI in the description below. Once you've got that, bring it to starter GUI over here and just insert it, right? You won't see this bit here because it will be in the frame and not visible. It will be like this. Now, the first thing you want to do is make a button for this actually. So let's go ahead and create a button. So I'm just going to duplicate the clone. Don't worry, this will also be in the packet. Well, in the model. There we go, now you can make this image if you want, I'm just going to make it settings uh, as text instead of image just because it's quicker for the video. Just like that, there you go. Now let's go ahead and start scripting this thing. So we now have our button and our frame. So we insert a local script into this. Now the first thing you want to do is create a table. Local settings is equal to table. By the way, before I start scripting this, the code will not be in the description below and you will also be muted from the comments if you even ask for it so yeah just script it yourself real quick all the code is here for you to see or even zoom in for you but yeah script it yourself i won't be leaving it in the description with all that being said let's move on so first thing obviously now you have your table let's create another table inside here um now we're gonna do settings name settings name is equal to uh let's do uh, lighting this will make like brightness brighter and maybe like uh, global shadows visible or whatever. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, lighting enabled. Then we can do settings function equals function. And now right, add a comma there, there we go. Uh, this is where we run the command. So run command. Now inside this we can also add a, uh, we can see if it's enabled. So enabled equals to false we do not want it enabled when we join all right now if you wanted to add another setting all you gotta do is duplicate that there um yeah just duplicate that there and add these commas then make the settings name whatever you want the setting to be so maybe a big head then make it enabled equals false or true Make it true if you want to, um, so if you want it to work when you join the game without having to uh, click the button. Then obviously you'll have a separate command for this as well. So let's go ahead, go down. Now this is where we're going to start making uh, making the system work. So we're going to do local function create buttons. This will be the create buttons. Create buttons function. Then we to um, for index then the value so settings in pairs settings do this will, this is basically a loop so it will find all the settings in this table all right so we want to add a bracket then we'll do setting name then we'll do um create buttons setting uh setting name or we'll do settings dot settings name now here I'm just going to test this by going print settings name. So it should print uh, light and enabled and then big head. Let's open up our output and go click play. W what have we done wrong? Okay. I spelt it wrong. There we go. This should work now. Yeah, there you go. Light enabled and big head. Or well, instead of doing getting a name, we can do this easier by just getting the uh, um, setting we can change it to setting then make that there then here we can do local new clone which is a new clone in the frame then we'll do um well let's require the thing first so local players equals game get service players dot settings clone okay that should work now we'll do new clone equals settings clone then 
blown that. Just like that, basically. It's hard to tell. We'll do um, print new clone dot name. Then we'll do uh, new clone dot name is equal to uh, then basically the setting dot name. We can change it to setting. There we go. Okay, yep, yeah, that worked. So if we type in big head. Oh, wait, did it work? That's weird. Okay, we, we haven't actually gave it a parent yet, fair enough. So, then, new, new clone, oh god, dot parent equals, so we'll do, um, do frame, wait, what's the UI? Is it that? It has, wait, name, this one, okay, okay, equals scrolling, we'll change the scrolling frame. Okay, we'll do frame not scrolling frame. That should work. So frame dot scrolling frame. It's easier to copy and paste this off. There we go. Now inside this we can do so the settings clone is equal to the new clone. Then we'll get change the name, change the parent, we'll make it visible, new clone dot visible equal uh, true. And as you see, if we was to make this frame visible, we haven't scripted the button yet, but if we go ahead and test this, there we go, it cloned it auto, like, it created the buttons automatically. So that's very nice. I quite like the, the UI style, to be honest. Okay, so now we wanna basically get the name of it. So we're gonna go um, new clone dot, hmm, what is it, it's frame, right? Dot frame. We'll change the text label to settings name. The frame not settings name not text is equal to two string. So it converts it to a string. It's already a string, it just converts it anyway. Um, settings dot setting name. Alright, so let's go ahead and test that. There we go, so now we have our two settings. Now we want the switches to turn on and off and change the environment, right? Now we can check if it's enabled by doing local uh, is enabled equals uh, settings dot enabled. This gets the true or false value so we can check when it's disabled or enabled basically. Now we can do, alright what, what should we do next? We can do, alright, did we uh, create a button for the switch? We did, okay. So we can do New clone dot switch dot switch dot click dot mouse button one click connect function. Now you can do mouse button one down, so basically you could do this. So new clone dot mouse button one instead of click you can do down, then connect that function. Just like that. Basically, mouse button one click is when you release the click on your mouse, but this is when you, when you, um, before you release the click, basically. If you want, I'll show you what they do in a minute. What we'll do is we'll, we'll create a function to update the, um, the main, like, button. So we'll do local function update, update switch. Then we'll do new clone uh, dot switch dot. Okay, what have we got inside here? Okay dot title dot text is equal to enabled so it'll be equal to true or false as you can see here then if that is equal equal to true and the text is on or off there we go now when we when we click the button we want it to obviously make this true or false every time we click it on and off so we'll do we'll do um what's the best way is enabled is equal to not then the value so is enabled so basically this so if this is false this will turn it to true then if this is true this will turn it to false so it's basically the opposite of what it already is if that makes any sense at all now we want to update the switch just like that so hopefully this should make the on and off work it didn't make that on enough work. All changes to title, so.
There we go. Now let's go ahead and try that. On off. There we go. Now we have the main switch. We also want to do the exact same thing for the color. Oh my god! So instead of changing the text, we want to do background color. So as you can see, the background color of this is a dark reddish. We just uh, keep it there, then background, background color free is equal to is enabled, blah, 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 on, off, then color free dot from RGB. Then we'll change this to uh, a greenish. Oh God, the mic's getting in the way of the code now. Oh God. There we go. We'll change that to greenish. Then if it's off, we'll change it to like a dark red. This dark red, in fact. There we go. We'll make this a dark green instead. Made that a bit darker. There we go. Now, we want to do the same, but for this frame. So this will be like the, the main color. So we'll do switch dot frame dot background color free. Then we'll do like the brighter red and the bright green. So around there, I would say. Then the red, that's already done. We can just copy and paste the value of that. There we go. Now it should turn green and red when it turns on and off. There we go. That works perfectly. And we can have them both on at the same time or both off at the same time or one or the other. It really doesn't matter. Anyway, moving on. We're making progress quite quick here, which is good. So now we actually want to run the settings function which will basically change the setting. So we'll do settings, just like the name, settings, but this time the function, the function. Then we'll add a pair of brackets so we can actually run the function. And inside here, we will add the value, so it is enabled basically. And we also add it here, so value, then we'll also do value here. This is also like a boolean, I guess. There we go. So this is true or false. Okay, so now it's gonna run this function. So we can print run, um, what's this function name? Lighting, enable, then the same for this, it'll just run the big head command. As you can see, if we were to test this, it would print both of them things. Setting, not settings, there we go. With the settings value is getting the, the UI, not, not the table, so. Okay, now, now. This should work. <laughs> okay. There we go. So it runs a command. Runs a function. So w I guess we could do... Uh, what, what settings should we change? Brightness? Maybe to like... 3? I mean, yeah, brightness will work. So we'll do... Uh, let's get the lighting. Local lighting equals... Let's get the service game. Get service lighting. There we go then. We'll copy and paste that here. Lighting dot brightness. There it was. Then dot the value is it? No, it's, there ain't a value to this. So the brightness is equal to let's say is enabled. Equals true. And let's do it's not a string, it's um so four or two I guess. So this is for if it's enabled and two if it's not enabled. Let's go ahead and try that. Ready? Boom, there we go. Look how well that works. So you can literally have any function you want in here and it will run it. it it's very, it's quite cool. It's very easy to use as well. We could also change some other things, like if we wanted to change. Let's see what cool things we can change. Do you think we should try a... Uh, change the color of this what can we use color correction effect yeah look at that okay so we can add a color correction effect in here then we can do lighting dot color correction uh, one second copy and paste that then we can do equals to is enabled equals oh god that's instance equals true and then it's oh it's tin color um oh god i messed this up equals equals and then i guess tint color no oh no oh no i'm doing this complete what am i doing okay then dot tint color 
equals color three dot new and then you can add your color here so we're gonna do a light blue just because i oh from rgb just because i really like light blue then we can do or then we can change this to red maybe or we can do green and red for on and off yeah let's do green and red there we go there's a red and let's do green boom there we go now as you can see if we were to test this that's very cool uh, player dot humanoid player dot character sorry dot humanoid then we can do um, then head scale dot value is equal to is enabled equal to true and then we can do so we can make the head do double the size or the same size let's go ahead try that this will be really fun if it works all right here we go and there you go <laughs> there you go it worked brilliant and that's how you make a settings ui and it's super cool but i'm gonna make this um i'm gonna make this go back to white for when it turns off there we go just because it's on and off instead of like green and red there we go but yeah that's very